guys, this is I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing good on this fabulous, tremendous, terrific Thursday. day. I'm doing good, and I hope you are too. Much love and light, I'm sending out to you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Love and light to you double time. And thank you for coming to see what I'm about. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button on either side. I don't know which side it's on, uh, but it's usually on this side. And you hit the bell so you'll know when I'm going to go ahead and upload my next video. If you are returning to us, thank you. Love and light to you. Namaste. And blessings to you. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, recognizing abuse. Right tonight, well, right now, I'm actually listening to my dad's uh, Pink Cashmere. I love this beat. It's just so beautiful. Um, uh, it's the, talking about this is kind of touchy, but I know it's just something that I had to be, I had to be strong about, and I had to have courage about because I actually can talk about it without actually crying. So that lets me know that I'm healing from it and letting it go. And it was just like, I've always heard that old wives tale, if you worry about stuff and you stress about things that you cannot control, it ages you. Oh my God. <laughs> it ages you for real. So, it's like the more stuff I let go, if you guys have not noticed, it's like I'm not using no bleaching cream. I guess it's just because the weather is changing and I don't really go out too much. Um... I'm not using anything except soap and water. And then all of a sudden, you know, I love Marilyn Monroe. I have a thing for Marilyn Monroe. She always thought she was a strong woman. Uh, very courageous and everything like that. And I always noticed that little mole on her face. I said, I don't care if it's fake or not, but I always wanted one like that. And lo and behold, I got one in the same exact spot she does. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I got a little beauty mark right there. And I was like scratching at it one day. I'm like, what is that on my face? And thinking, you know, my cat probably snicked me or something. And I'm like, oh snap, that's a mole. But no, not to get off the subject, but I really had to recognize all the abuse that I went through. It's just like with my family, it could be at times, it could be physical when I was growing up. It was more emotional and mental and it just seems like I started going through that and it was like when I left them alone it's like certain people picked up where they left off and it was just like you know what I left my family alone for this so it's just like I couldn't deal with it anymore so it, it's just like with me telling you guys it, it took a lot of courage it took a lot of courage um but it makes me feel better and I actually you can actually tell in my face that you know I'm gonna be okay and it's just like I know I want to go home and I'm just like I dog why is all the things that I'm happening but it's just like I'm there but it's just like I'm right there at the door and I can't get in and it's just like what do I have to do what do I have to do and it's just like tell your story tell this that's how I'm already telling my story no tell your story people need to hear about this because there's so many so many people that are going through physical abuse sexual abuse um and the sexual abuse no i, I, I don't go for that this is just something y'all y'all wouldn't end up hearing me on the news that's just something i'm not going through but i just basically go through mental and emotional right now so but it's just so many of us go through all this and it's just like we are so terrified to go out and tell somebody thinking you know because there's so so many people that that push off on it that is the ones that are actually doing it pushing it off saying because you deserve this or you made me mad or you made me feel that way nobody can make you put your hands on nobody nobody can make you come out your mouth and say something that's always a choice it's always a choice and sometimes i'm good for doing that where I lash out at people are not thinking about the consequences behind the words and my actions. And it's just like words is just like popping with a fist. And, you know, this just feels like deja vu because I felt myself doing this video before talking about, you know, this. And I'm just like, why am I, you know, talking about this? But uh, that was really like deja vu. 
but um, it, it was just something that I know I had to talk to you guys about because there's just so many of us that are going through it. We, you know, sexual, um, mental, emotional, physical, you, you know, verbal. It, it's just any kind of abuse is never good. And it's just like when you go through that, they don't know how you can program people to the point that's all they know. That's all they know. And it's just like, I had to break that chain because it's just like, even though I'm a strong person, it's just like, I'll sit there and just be in shock because somebody came at me like that. Like, I'm just like, did you just come at me like that? And it'll throw me off. And it's just not like, I'm a passive person, but you know, I'm just like, okay. But I'm just like, no, did you just say that to me? And I'll just be thrown all the way off. But it's just like now I have to be mindful of my words and it's just like, okay, you know what, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. You know, it's very hurtful. You know, I'm trying to get, you know, understand why this is happening, but, you know, I just can't deal with it anymore. So it, it's just like when we go through these things, there's just so many people that are hurting that they, you know, they're pushing out on the closest person to them. And... It's just sometimes people get off on it, and that's the sad thing where, you know, when people go out their way and try to hurt somebody and try to just throw salt on their happiness, it's not you. Trust me, it's not you. It does not have anything to do with you, even though that mess can really hurt. And I, I mean, it was just like things that all happen, and I'll pray to God, just like, I can't believe this is happening. You know, how could they say this thing to me? And, you know, I've been so nice to them, I've, I've did it, you know, I've had my days, you know, where I've been mean to, so don't think, you know, I'm trying to play victim or anything like that, but, you know, you have your points, but you, you know, your breaking point, you know, where, you know, enough is enough, and that's the video I had to make about today, it's just like, when is enough going to be enough, it's just, you know, we go through so much abuse, you know, you can see people not being happy, but people are willing to you know, stay because the livelihood is comfortable. Or, you know, they're, you know, living good, but it's just the fact is they're not happy. They're going through all different types of abuse, but they're willing to deal with it just because they don't want to be lonely or whatever. And it's just like, I know I had to let mine go because I would sit up here and cry and it'll just think about, you know, it'll go through my head or whatever. And I'm just like, you know what, look at it from a different way. All the things that they're doing, they're not doing it, you know, they're doing it to hurt you, but it's not doing nothing to hurt them in the process. It's going to end up hurting them in the process. So, you know, just like I've made videos to you guys before about let go and let the universe do the work. And that's what I had to do. That's what I really had to do. And it's just like, you know, like I tell you guys, I'm human. I'm a work in progress, progress too. I'm a work in progress. So there's times I'll slip up and I'll be a hundred paces ahead. It will just take that one person or somebody will say that one thing. And you already know. There, you, you could be having a good day. And somebody can see you having a good day. And they'll try to throw salt on that mess so quick. And you'll be just like, can I have a good day? Can I just enjoy my day? Just because you're mad, don't allow yourself to sit up here and try to push that anger out on me. Because I can do it. You know, and there's people that are like that. And so, it, it's just like when you have, to, when you recognize the things that you're going through, stand up for yourself and just tell them that you're not going to be willing to take it. You don't have to deal with it. You know, if that's where they decide to want to be stuck at, allow them to be stuck that way. It could be family members. It could be best friends. It could be, you know, co-workers or whatever. You can work together and just not have to say nothing because there's times where I've been at work and I've seen people that I just know are this heady baby negative fancy, whatever you want to call it, you know, growing up, and it was just like, I would see them, and it would just be so, their aura would bounce off so bad about it, and I'm like, oh no, I gotta go the other way, I'm like, hey, how you doing, keep on going, because I already see where that was going, I'm like, oh no, that mess is too strong, I'm not dealing with that, because I know I'll be aggravated for the rest of the day, because it's just, I'm so sensitive, I collect the things that people are going through, and I, I get aggravated, I get fussy, so, 
I'm not trying to hold you guys' time up today, but yeah, it took a lot of courage to tell you guys that. But it's just like, like I told you, people will tell me, you know, it's like an old wives' tale. If you worry about stuff and stress about things that you cannot control, then that's what make you sick. It will make you age. So that's why I'm just like, I'm starting, I'm drinking a lot more water now because I can't stand water. Oh my gosh, I can't stand water. And I just can't taste, stand the taste of it because it's so plain. So it's just like now, but when I start reading the list of things, because I noticed I got clammy hands and, you know, I'm always tired. And now I'm not always tired anymore. And it was like, I was starting to get vertigo and getting busy and stuff like that. So it's just like, you gotta really drink a lot of water, eat right, and all this stuff. So, um... I'm not about to hold you guys up. And I will talk to you later. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. And I will talk to you later. And you even drop a comment, please. I love it when you guys um, comment on my videos. It makes me feel so good. And um, I send many blessings out, healing prayers. And I will talk to you later. And be wow. And now stay to you.